All right, so here we have a 2006 Honda Element. Uh, what we're going to be doing is, all right, so we have the high side. We have a lot of oil buildup and grime right there. Um, typically, that means that the, sh the valve is leaking. The little Schrader is leaking inside there. So we're going to do a little pre preventative maintenance, and we're going to go in and replace the Schrader valve on the high side here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hook the gauges up and we're just going to get a baseline of how much Freon and how the system is performing. We don't, the customer says it, that he doesn't notice anything wrong with the AC. Um, we're, just, we're just doing this as a preventative service uh, so there's no future problems for him. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the gauges hooked up. Then we have our low side. Okay, so there's, that was a good one. When I just loosened this cap, I heard a little bit of Freon. I, heard, I could hear it hiss, so we know we we'll probably have a problem in both, but that one is definitely showing more signs than this one. So we're going to go ahead and replace both of those since we have them here in the kit. All right, so we'll go ahead and get our gauges hooked up. One to our high side. One, one to our low side. All right, so we do have some charge. We're gonna go ahead and start the vehicle up, turn the AC on, uh, just get a reading of where we're at on the gauges. All right, so just looking at the gauges, we've had it running for a minute or so. It does look like we're a little low on our, on our numbers, just, just a little bit. It's still cold inside. Yeah, so All right, so now we know what our baseline is. We'll go ahead and shut the vehicle off now. All right, so here we have a recovery machine uh, so we can safely pull the Freon out of the car uh, and then it will capture it into this tank here. That's where we're going to hook our, our middle line, you know, where we would charge Freon, uh, do our vacuum, and this is also going to be recover. There are a bunch of different options. Uh, we did have to purchase a couple pieces. Uh, this is a half inch to quarter inch adapter uh, to our filter. So if the compressor or there was trash in the system, this will keep the trash from making its way into the system. Uh, it does have a Schrader valve on it. So we do need to make sure that our line has the detent inside of it. If it does not, then we'd have to remove that Schrader valve to keep the system flowing. So we'll go ahead and set it up now. And then we have our, our gauges, so we're going to be set to recover. And then once we open up the gauges on the car, we'll come over here and we'll open up our high side and our, our, well, our recovery for this side, and this will be what's delivering it to our tank. All right, so the other thing we want to do is how much Freon is in this vehicle. So we have a scale. That way we can weigh. There are marks um, for full and empty on the machine or on the tank here. So it's like 17.7 uh, .7 pounds for this one empty and 26.2 pounds when it's completely full. So those are some numbers you'll have to remember so you don't overfill. All right, so let me make sure we're, all right, we're on pounds. All right, so it's 17.7, 17.8, so this is, you know, pretty doggone empty. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up our system here. All right, so that made both of these lines uh, connected with our center line here. So we'll go down to the machine now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up our valve here. All right, so we have, let's see, that looks, looks like almost 90. And our blue side of the gauges uh, show 90. All right, so we have opened up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just purge a little bit of the machine out. So we have our, this would be our for taking in vapor, and this would be for taking in liquid. So we're going to be taking in vapor. All right, so we just want to go ahead and prime or purge the system so we can stop the air from going in here and make sure it's all free on. So we'll go ahead and this is closed. We'll open this one up. We'll just crack our line for just a couple seconds here. All right. All right, so now we're open. We'll go ahead and we have our machine set to recover. We'll just go ahead and turn it on. What we'll be waiting for is this to draw down to a negative. Uh, that will be that we have recovered all of the Freon inside of the vehicle. And we know what our numbers were. All right, so this is about a half hour too, right here, like this. All right, so we're at the maximum amount of vacuum on it. We pulled out, you know, maybe a pound of, of Freon there. We've kind of stabilized on the weight coming out. So we're gonna go ahead and shut it down now. We'll, first, we'll start off by turning off the gauge set. All right. So we'll go ahead and Put us in the purge and this will pull the rest of the machine out. Shut everything off. All right, so we'll go ahead and disconnect our service port lines there. All right, so I have, uh, it's a Schrader valve. It's kind of, it's very similar to, for a tire valve or something like that. It's the same principle, same kind of Schrader valve, just a little different material on it. All right, so here we have a Schrader valve kit that we got from Auto Parts Direct U. Comes with quite a few different styles there. So we'll just go ahead and we'll match up which ones that we have. And that one there. All right, so I just like to take a little bit of just some refrigerant oil just something to uh, lube the O-ring up. That way it, it seats nicely. All right, so we'll go ahead and put our high side in.
right, we'll go ahead and hook our gauges back up. All right, so now we want to uh, vacuum the system down. And so this is, this is our vacuum pump. Uh, so basically what this is going to do is this is going to bring the AC system uh, down to uh, 30 inches of vacuum is our, is our goal. What that will do is it will boil out any moisture in the system you know, to give our AC the best chance it can to be cool. Um, so these right here can be um, you know, purchased. They're not but a little over 100 bucks, or you can rent one from your local auto parts. Right, so we'll just go ahead and we'll turn this on somewhere. Now we'll go ahead and introduce that vacuum. So we're at zero. All right, we'll do it on both the high side and the low side. All right, so what we want to do is we want to let this happen for about 30 minutes for 30 inches of vacuum. That would be a good rule of thumb. Something else to do, once you have created some vacuum, you know, if you had just done any kind of service work or, or O-rings or you were trying to find a, a leak or you put it back together and you just wanted to make sure that it wasn't leaking, it's, it's harder for the system to hold the vacuum than it is for the pressure. So you can go ahead and turn off your gauge set and you should not see the vacuum drop at all. That would tell you that you have a completely sealed system. All right, so you don't see any droppage. So we know that the, the rest of the system there are no little leaks or anything. We do know that it was low on Freon but we did find what it was by our Schrader valve and the obvious signs of having the oil with the dirt all built up around it. All right, so we'll just go ahead and let this hang out for about 30 minutes. All right, so now we have let it sit for about 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and turn off our gauge set. All right, we'll go ahead and turn off our vacuum machine and disconnect the line. All right, so now we're going to be ready to add Freon. So this is 134. This is this is a new, this is the new style. These are self-sealing cans. Uh, in the old days, or you know, they're still around. Are the cans you puncture. So there's two different types of can taps. So that one there is one that has the point on it. So that one would be to puncture the hole to discharge the can. This is the new style. Let's see. Oh, can't balance it up. But basically, this is the new style, and instead of it having a, a point to puncture it, it has a flat uh, dulled end, and that, and that will push the relief down, and then when you take the can off, it'll still, it'll still have uh, Freon inside of it. It is self-sealing. So there are two different types. Um, it is very hard to use this one in this can. It can be done, but it, is a very, it's, it just takes a lot of playing with it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set this one up for our self-sealing can tap. All right, so we just back, just make sure that it is all the way threaded back. All right, and our line. All right, so this had the quarter inch adapter on it. So we need to go quarter to half inch to get our line to fit. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And our line. All right, so we have our, our gauges turned off. So what we're going to do now is we're going to purge this line. So we're going to basically, this line is, is just full of atmospheric air. We're going to go ahead and purge this out so that we don't introduce that into the system. 
Uh, so what we want to do there is we just want to go ahead and open our can up. We just want to loosen this up just a tiny bit, a couple seconds. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up our, our low side. That'll introduce our freon. All right, so what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and start the vehicle up. Uh, turn the AC on. All right, so we'll go ahead and turn our valve off. We'll go ahead and exchange. Uh, to our other can. All right, so we know our sticker back here is, tells us how much Freon. So we got about another six ounces out of this can, so about half of this can. So we're just gonna kind of watch our gauges. All right, so it looks like that we have kind of stabled out, maybe 35, they're in between 30 and 35. That'd be a good charge system. We have cold air on the inside. Another little, another little just trick to make sure everything's going. You have, use your two lines. So your high side, the small one is gonna be warm and the big one is gonna be cold. All right, so we have all our, all our good signs there. AC on the inside, blowing cold. All right, so we're ready to uh, disconnect all of our lines. We'll go ahead and shut the vehicle off. All right, so now that we have everything turned off, we'll go ahead and disconnect our lines. All right, and then we put our, our caps back on. We'll go ahead and clean up the, the signs of where we were before with knowing that that was leaking. And I just have some brake clean, that's all I'm using. All right, and we're ready to take the car for a test drive.